sitting here with associate head coach Linda Lundgren. Linda, entering your ninth season as a coach at Northeastern, tell us about it so far. Uh, well, it's been a great run as far as success goes and getting wins in the wins column, putting Northeastern back on the map um, athletically in, in the women's hockey world. And it's, uh, it just continues, we continue to elevate our expectations as we have more success. Uh, we expect more, and that, that's a great thing. Um, the kids are having a great experience, and again, you know, Northeastern speaks for itself when it comes to choosing it as a school. But it, it's nice to have us be out there in the hockey world and, and be the in the prominence that we once were. You were a player at Northeastern yourself on the field hockey team as well as the hockey team. So, how have you seen things change over the years? Um, I think it starts with support from the athletic department and the school um, and just continued support and increased support as new hockey programs develop across the country. It's It's been a little bit of keeping up with the Joneses for the already existing programs, but we have such great support um, from an administrative level that, you know, we're We've done a great job of going out and recruiting top talent and again teaching our players about the tradition of the hockey program and just, you know, like I said, having the expectation that, that winning is, is what is all we expect. Um, and, and that these players have the if these players have a great experience and are motivated and enjoy Northeastern, then the winning will come with that. What are some of the things that you remember from when you were a player? Uh, certainly the bean pot, uh, but I only have two out of four as a player. Uh, one year we had the Beanpot Invitational and Brown was in the Beanpot and they took it to Rhode Island so that wasn't such a good thing but um, you know Beanpot again lots of wins in ECACs, uh, never won the ECAC championship but came in with a pretty strong team as a freshman um, and again experienced that winning tradition enough to sort of teach our players now what that's about and that that's what our expectation is. So the bean pot's right around the corner. You must be putting a lot of pressure on the girls this year. Yeah, exactly. I, I want my fourth one. So I got three, three total, one as a coach and two as a player. So I want that fourth one pretty bad. So they'll be hearing from me a lot chirping in their ear. <laughs> I bet. Well, tell us about the break from the girls. They did something neat. They went to Lake Placid and you were there. Tell us about that experience. It was a great experience, actually. It was a nice opportunity to have them out of school without any distractions, to just kind of spend some time together as a group and experience Lake Placid. We skated on the 1980 rink. And I think at the end of the day for the staff and the players, it was about appreciating hockey and appreciating how much we all love hockey. And spent, like I said, spending that time together and getting ourselves going for the second half of the season. Going into that second half, what are some of the goals you've set for your team and what are some of the things that you want to work on? I think it's important for us and we've stressed this already and you see the, the differences in our scores over the weekend. We didn't play a very good defensively responsible game against St. Lawrence and certainly the score didn't reflect what kind of game it was as far as back and forth. But uh, we're just harping on the kids a little bit to have good habits and to be responsible and to do the little things right and take care of their bodies as we go into this stretch and every team's going to be gunning and ready to go and every team's going to be trying to peak at the right time so it's going to be about those little things that our players do to help us win games. Well coming out of this stretch you're not facing easy teams you had no. number two Clarkson and now you have BC what is it like getting into these heavy hitters right away. I think it's great for our team because again, we need to build momentum and that Clarkson win was certainly a huge win for our team and it was also a statement that we can come back from a day like the St. Lawrence game and, and, and sort of have some resilience and have all 18 players contributing in the lineup. And you know, it, no easy game is, there's no easy game in our league. Um, but to set us up, it's only going to prepare us better for the rest of our league play to play these teams and also to make a statement on the national level and make some noise so when selection time comes around this year, you know, we beat some of these teams, we're going to be in top consideration. Well, Linda, we're looking forward to watching your team for the rest of the season. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.